M. Smith, singer, Samuel Frederick Smith, born May 19, 1992, is an English singer-songwriter. He rose to fame in October 2012 when he was featured on Disclosure's breakthrough single Latch, which peaked at number 11 on the UK singles chart. His subsequent feature, on Naughty Boy's La 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 earned him his first number one single in May 2013. In December 2013, he was nominated for the 2014 Brit Critics' Choice Award and the BBC's Sound of 2014 poll, both of which he won. He released his debut studio album, In the Lonely Hour, in May 2014 on Capitol Records UK. The lead single, Lay Me Down, was released prior to La La La. The second single, Money on My Mind, became the second number one single in the UK. 6. The album's third single, Stay With Me, was an international success, reaching number one in the UK and number two on the US Billboard Hot 100, while the fourth single I'm Not The Only One reached the top five in both countries. The fifth single, like I can, reached number nine in the United Kingdom. He made his United States debut on Late Night with Jimmy Fallon, followed by a performance on Saturday Night Live in March 2014. In December 2014, Smith was nominated for six Grammy Awards, and at the 57th Annual Grammy Awards in February 2015 he won for Best New Artist. Stay With Me for Record of the Year and Song of the Year, and In the Lonely Hour for Best Pop Vocal Album. At the 2015 Brit Awards, he won the awards for British Breakthrough Act and Global Success. At the 2015 Billboard Music Awards, Smith received three Billboard Awards, Top Male Artist, Top New Artist, and Top Radio Songs Artist. His musical achievements have also led him to be mentioned twice in the Guinness World Records. For his and Jimmy Nate songwritings on the wall, the theme for the James Bond film Spectre, 2015, Smith won the Golden Globe Award and the Academy Award for Best Original Song. His second studio album, The Thrill of It All, was released in November 2017 and debuted atop the UK Albums Chart on the US Billboard 200. The lead single, Too Good at Goodbyes, reached number one in the UK and Australia and number four in the US. Early Life, Samuel Frederick Smith Nine, was born on May 19, 1992 in London, the son of Frederick Smith and broker Kate Cassidy. He was an alumnus of Youth Music Theatre UK and starred in their 2007 production of Oh! Carol. Before entering the musical theatre, Smith had been in jazz bands. For a number of years he studied singing and songwriting under jazz pianist Joanna Eaton. He attended St. Mary's Catholic School in Bishop Stortford. He was a member of the Bishop Stortford Junior Operatics now Bishop Stortford Musical Theatre Society, and the Cantate Youth Choir. Music Career, 2012-2013, Breakthrough, Smith was featured on the Disclosure song Latch, which was released on October 8, 2012 and peaked at number 11 on the UK Singles Chart. In February 2013, he released the first single from his debut album, Lay Me Down, he was also featured on Naughty Boy's single La La La. It was released on May 19, 2013 and peaked at number one on the UK Singles Chart. The same year, he released his first EP Nirvana consisting of four tracks. The first song on the EP titled, Save With Me, is produced by Two Inch Punch and premiered on Mr. Jam's BBC Radio 1 Extra show on July 24, 2013. The second song on the EP is titled Nirvana and is produced by Chris and Hoax and Jonathan Creek. The EP also includes Smith's acoustic solo version of Latch and a live version of I've Told You Now Smith released the disclosure, Now Rogers 
and Jamie Knapp's collaboration together on November 25, 2013 as the only single from Settle, the remixes. 2014-2016, in The Lonely Hour and International Success, the second single from his debut album, titled Money on My Mind, was released on February 16, 2014. It was announced on December 16 that Smith's debut studio album titled In the Lonely Hour would be released on May 26, 2014 through Capitol Records. He described the album as all about unrequited love because he has never been loved back by any of his love interests. The album reached number one in the UK Albums Chart and number two on the Billboard 200 and by November 5th it had become the second biggest selling album of 2014 in the US behind only 1989 by Taylor Swift. In January 2015, In the Lonely Hour was named the second best selling album of 2014 in the UK, behind X by Ed Sheeran. Smith singing in Glasgow in 2014, a live version of album track I've Told You Now, performed at St. Pancras Old Church, was made available for free download as part of an Amazon.com promotion on December 27, 2013. The album track Make It To Me, co-written by Howard of Disclosure and Jimmy Knapps, was made available for free download as part of an iTunes store promotion on January 13, 2014. Smith went on his debut American headlining tour in the spring of 2014, with a set list of primarily new material. On January 20, 2014, Smith made his American television debut performing Match with Disclosure on Late Night with Jimmy Fallon. He also performed on Saturday Night Live on March 29, 2014, performing the gospel-tinged Stay With Me and an acoustic version of Lay Me Down. Stay With Me reached number one on the UK singles chart and number two on the US Billboard Hot 100. The fourth single from the album, I'm Not the Only One, reached number three in the UK and number five in the US. In June 2014, Smith first appeared on the cover of The Fader in its 92nd issue. In August 2014, Smith's single Stay With Me was named Variance Magazine's Song of Summer. Smith performed Stay With Me Live at the 2014 MTV Video Music Awards on August 24 at the Forum in Inglewood, California. 32. On November 15, 2014, Smith joined the charity group band Aid Gertie along with other British and Irish pop acts, recording the latest version of the track Do They Know It's Christmas? at Sarm West Studios in Notting Hill, London, to raise money for the 2014 Ebola crisis in Western Africa. Smith performing Stay With Me in Berlin, Germany in 2015. In 2015, it came to light that singer Tong Petty, Noting similarities between Stay With Me and his 1989 hit song I Won't Back Down, had negotiated an out-of-court settlement with Smith in October 2014. Petty and co-composer Jeff Lynne were awarded 12.5% of the royalties from Stay With Me, and the names of Petty and Lynne joined James John Napier, known professionally as Jimmy Knapps, in the ASCAP song credit. At the 57th Annual Grammy Awards, held on February 8, 2015, at the Staples Center in Los Angeles, Smith performed Stay With Me and also received four Grammy Awards, Best New Artist, Record of the Year and Song of the Year, for Stay With Me and Best Pop Vocal Album, for In the Lonely Hour. At the 2015 Brit Awards held at the O2 Arena in London on February 25th, Smith performed Lay Me Down, and won the Brit Awards for British Breakthrough Act, and Global Success. The same month, Smith recorded another version of this song, featuring John Legend, for the British charity Telethon Comic Relief, which reached number one in the UK. At the 2015 Billboard Music Awards on May 17, Smith received three Billboard Awards, 
top male artist, top new artist, and top radio songs artist. Smith features on Disclosure's single Omen which was released on July 27, 2015. On September 8, 2015, Smith confirmed that he and Jimmy Nupps had composed writings on the wall, the theme song to Spectre, the 24th James Bond film. The song was released on September 25, 2015 and became the first James Bond theme to reach number one in the UK. On October 19, Smith was presented with two Guinness World Records, one for recording the first James Bond theme song to go to number one in the UK, and another for scoring the most consecutive weeks in the UK top 10 by a debut album, In the Lonely Hour, at the 73rd Golden Globe Awards on January 10, 2016. Smith received the award for Best Original Song for Writings on the Wall. On January 14, the song earned Smith an Academy Award nomination for Best Original Song. In the nominations for the 2016 Brit Awards announced on January 14, the song was among the nominees for Best British Video. Smith performed Writings on the Wall at the Academy Awards on February 28 and, along with Naps, collected the prize for Best Original Song. In his acceptance speech, Smith referenced an article by Ian McKellen published before the awards ceremony that claimed no openly gay man had won an Oscar for Best Actor. He misquoted McKellen as saying that no gay man in general had won an Oscar. This was quickly discredited by openly gay recipient Destin Lance Black, but McKellen mentioned that the error doesn't detract from Smith's achievement. 2016 present, The Thrill of It All, throughout 2016, Smith released footage of himself in the studio working on new music, leading up to the release of his second studio album. In late 2016, he was said to be working with Adam Lambert on new material. In early 2017, it was reported that Smith would be releasing his second album in September 2017 and had recorded with constant collaborator Jimmy Knapps and Naughty Boy. In April 2017, he was said to have been in studio sessions with classical crossover group Clean Bandit, working on a possible comeback single. Along with the group, Record producer Tim Valland and musician Francis have said they have worked on songs for his upcoming album. On September 8, 2017, Smith released a new single titled Too Good at Goodbyes, which debuted at number one in the United Kingdom and number five on the U.S. Billboard Hot 100 as second studio album, The Thrill of It All, debuted atop the UK Albums Chart on the U.S. Billboard 200 becoming his first number one album in the U.S. Influences Smith cites Adele and Amy Winehouse as his main influences. In an interview with Rolling Stone, Smith cited Whitney Houston and Mariah Carey as the greatest R&B voices. The singer also lists Christina Aguilera, Beyoncé, Brandy, and Lady Gaga as influences. Smith said about a diva quality to his voice. It's all I listened to. I actually didn't listen to male vocalists until about two years ago. This version is strictly for demonstration purposes only. I just listened to Whitney Houston, Chaka Khan. Massive Voices In an October 2017 interview conducted by Elton John for Attitude magazine, Smith spoke of the impact of the success of his close friend Ed Sheeran. It makes you push yourself. Watching him this past year has just been incredible, but yeah, of course it makes me hungry. Personal Life In May 2014, Smith came out to the public as gay. He acknowledged a relationship, since ended, with actor and model Jonathan Zizel. At the 57th Annual Grammy Awards when Stay With Me won an award for Record of the Year he said, I want to thank the man who this record is about, who I fell in love with last year. Thank you so much for breaking my heart because you got me four Grammys.
In 2017, he stated his latest album, The Thrill of It All, showed the gay guy I've become. Smith is a third cousin of singer Lily Allen and actor Alfie Allen. Smith is the godfather of close friend and collaborator Jimmy Nate's son Jackson. In October 2017, Smith told the LGBT publication Attitude that he is much a woman as I am a man. Smith also admitted to owning mostly female clothing in his youth and wearing full makeup while attending school. He describes himself as a feminist. Since September 2017, Smith admitted in an interview on the Ellen DeGeneres show that he was in a relationship. Celebrity tabloid media reports have stated Smith is dating actor Brandon Flynn. In October 2017, in an interview with the Sunday Times, Smith came out as being a genderqueer man, stating I don't know what the title would be, but I feel as much woman as I am man. He also elaborated saying that he never classed himself as being a typical man, or cisgender, and even opened up about his past, saying people don't know this, but when I was 17, I remember becoming obsessed with Boy George and Marilyn Monroe, and all that. There was one moment in my life where I didn't own a piece of male clothing, really. I would wear full makeup every day in school, eyelashes, leggings with Dr. Martens and huge fur coats, for two and a half years.